I know this video becomes so lengthy, but don't worry. Compared to Anatomy, it's just a trailer. You will get full clarity by seeing this complete video and you can save your money, time and marks. Hi friends and future doctors. I am Nanesh, a third year MBBS student from GMC Kamaridi, Telangana. Welcome to my channel. In this channel, I am going to share my experiences and exam topics and the events occurs in my college and any MBBS related informative videos with you. First year, we have three subjects. One is anatomy, biochemistry and physiology. And each subject not have a specified book. It, uh, in each subject, there are different types of books wrote by different types of authors. So, I categorized the all the books into three categories. One is standard book, second one is referral book and third one is exam savior. If we talk about anatomy, the, there are two main books. One is B.D. Chaurasya and another one is Vishram Singh. So, first of all, I will tell you the differences between B.D. Chaurasya and Vishram Singh. In case of B.D. Chaurasya, the description is very detailed and in case of Vishram Singh, both description and as well as diagrams are very good and both textbooks contain good clinical aspects. Anatomy is nothing but diagrams. So, it's easy to remember the anatomy in the form of diagrams rather than theory part. So, it becomes easy during final exams. So, my personal suggestion is to buy Vishram Singh. In case of biochemistry and as well as physiology, there is a single textbook for the whole syllabus. But in case of anatomy, there are different books for the different parts of the body. For example, a different textbook for the general anatomy and different textbook for the upper limb and different textbook for the thorax, different textbook for the abdomen like that neuroanatomy, histology, embryology, genetics, etc. For general anatomy, you prefer BD Chaurasya and for upper limb, lower limb, thorax, abdomen, neuroanatomy, you prefer Vishram Singh and for the histology, there is a themes atlas in which there is a good histology diagrams and in case of Indra B. Singh, there is a good description regarding the histology diagrams. So, except the general anatomy, you can prefer Vishram Singh. For general anatomy, we have to prefer for B.D. Chaurasya and don't buy a separate textbook for the neuroanatomy because it already given in the head and neck chapter of Vishram Singh textbook and if we talk about embryology, I personally purchased the Inner B. Singh textbook and if we talk about genetics, they, mostly there may be a one or two questions in the exam. So, I personally suggest don't buy any textbook for the genetics, rather you can watch the YouTube videos during the time of examination. This is all about the theory textbooks of the anatomy. So, next we talk about the practical that is dissection manual. There is only one book that is Cunningham manual and I want to share a small memory with you regarding the Cunningham manual. Our anatomy HOD sir will mark absent if we don't carry dissection kit and as well as Cunningham manual. So whenever we forget to carry those things, we take from our friends and show to the sir has our books with innocent face. This is all is a undercover mission to save one day attendance. So our second subject is biochemistry. The standard book in case of biochemistry is DM Vasudevan. The DM Vasudevan contains a good flowcharts and good description regarding the cycles and as well as clinical aspects also. And the second reference book is MD Rafi. Most of the students prefer MD Rafi after the first day one and there is an exam edition book that is Satyanarayana in biochemistry but our professor told that there is a no scope of giving maximum marks if you write from Satyanarayana so I don't personally suggest to buy the Satyanarayana so better to prefer either Vasudevan or MD Rafi for the practical I purchased Poonam Agarwal textbook but I didn't use it for a long time. So, I don't want to suggest you to buy the biochemistry practical book, but you can take it from your library. 
or you can watch videos in the YouTube. Oh, friends, our third subject is physiology. If we talk about physiology, the standard book is Gaita Nine Hall, and the reference book is G K Paul, and our exam edition book is Shemulinga. Friends, studying of the physiology from the no, only from the textbook will not give complete idea. So it's better to watch some YouTube videos and then study from the textbook. So you get get a clarity regarding the physiology. So friends, my personal suggestion is if you buy one book, that doesn't mean you have to read from that textbook only. You can buy uh, read from other textbooks also, but you should take from library instead of buying all the book and one last and final thing i should say to you that me and some of my friends not only read from the textbook during the exams we read from some pdfs for example in case of anatomy we read from the johari sir pdf and as well as agam sir pdf and in case of biochemistry there is only one pdf that is dr jimbul sir pdf and in case of physiology there are no particular pdfs but i prepared my own notes by seeing the youtube videos so friends if you find informative then give a like button and share to your other mbbs friends who are confusing regarding the textbooks and subscribe to our channel to not miss these type of informative videos in further and if you want to know other essential things other than the textbooks, then you can check out my first video in our channel.